you uh, explain the Lion King analysis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I love, love it because it was so perfect for oh, it's what you so talk perfect, about. Yeah, <laughs> meaning and purpose. Yeah, I love this. So yeah, I got this from Jordan Peterson, and it was um, so profound to me when I heard it because it made so much sense. And once again, this goes back to archetypes and like the roles and patterns that we exhibit in relationships. But anyway, the Lion King is such a great example of of how the female uh, archetype. Uh, can can i guess guide the male archetype because you know then you have the two characters nala and simba and simba basically leaves the the kingdom of the jungle and he goes and he's hanging out with this warthog and this prairie dog and what's going on back at the uh, the kingdom is that it's all falling apart because scars running it and it's you know just evil all around and there's no food and it's dusty and it's like a wasteland yeah. uh -huh. and really simba is the one who needs to you know be called to this action of responsibility right that's his meaning and purpose is is to is to um, basically save the kingdom and he's out playing with the friggin' warthog and the prairie dog eating grubs when Nala comes along and, and Nala's like, basically sees him and is like so shocked. She's like, Simba, like, what are you, what are you doing, doing out here? Like, you're the freaking king of the jungle, you're a lion. Like, like, basically, like, get it together, man. Like, you're capable of so much more than you're doing right now. Right, and she reminds him of his purpose. Like, your purpose exactly. is to rule the kingdom, not exactly. out here eating fucking bugs and shit. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, that's it. And then, you know, there's these, like, wrestling scenes, and there's this one scene that Jordan Peterson points out where um, he, Simba finally pins Nala, and that's, like you know him coming into his own not that you should ever get in physical you know <laughs> fights with your partner not, not saying that at all but it's like he finally comes to this realization of oh wow okay i see what's going on here and and, and i need to basically take this call to action and, and assume this responsibility and my meaning and purpose and to stop galloping around in the freaking you know jungle with the warthog and the prairie right. dog eating grubs <laughs> right and, it's, and i you know I, I love the image you know him some pinning her and for me that's what came to my mind is when you're with someone because they we all know that they're they're meant to be together and when you look into the eyes of someone, you he knows he's meant to be with her. Yes. When you look into the eyes of the person, one that knows who you are, your responsibility, your capability, and you see that conviction, it just reminds you like, it's like, oh, this person sees me, yeah. knows my purpose, sees my purpose. Um, and, you know, and she didn't even make him wrong in that. Like, what? Like, yeah, what are you? Like, what are you doing? You know, mm -hmm. and they didn't have like it wasn't. I mean, of course, it's a movie, but they didn't argue back and forth. Like, I'm living my life. I was gonna be this. It's like, no, it's like <laughs> because some people, because it's easy for and I know it's a cartoon, but in in the real and to me in my mind, in life, people will defend that. I'm just out here in the wilderness, like eating grubs. I'm gonna live my life, grow my hair yeah. out, do all the other things. Like, I don't wanna do this, like, she's like, no, like your purpose is to rule the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, you, exactly. this, is, this is your kingdom. You can you can eat bugs if you want to, but your purpose yeah. you know, yeah. is to go back to the kingdom and, and, and restore it. Mm -hmm. I like what you said. It's, you know, when you have that moment with your with your partner where you really see each other, this idea of morality fades into the back. It doesn't even exist in that. Like right and wrong, it's, it, it, it doesn't exist. It's really about um, actualizing my potential as a yeah. human being and what I'm truly, really capable of. As a human being, we have yeah. so much power. I mean, it may not seem like that because there's over almost 8 billion of us on this planet, but we have so much right. power. Yeah. And, um, and, and such a finite, you know, lifespan. And so, you know, if you want to go eat grubs in the, in the jungle, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. However, I would be very hard pressed to find that that you're actually really fulfilled doing that yeah i feel like that you know 
at least on some level, there would be some doubt as to whether this is really what I'm supposed to be doing, just because I know at some level what I'm truly capable of. And that's, I think, what our partners can help us get to. You know, what is our calling? What is our purpose? And that's what, you know, me and my girlfriend focus on. My girlfriend has this um, YouTube channel that she's, you know, and it's not easy, you know, doing something like that, putting yourself out there like that. And there's a lot of fear involved and, and maybe there's some rejection and, and it's not going quite where you want it to be. Right. But what is she, what is, what is she committed to? What's her big idea? What is her purpose? And it's, and it's me as my, as her partner, I'd take it as my responsibility. I am responsible for being a stand for her being committed to that. And it's amazing when each other, the two of you are, are playing off of that in each other. She's helping me do that. I'm helping her do that. How much love comes out of that. And yeah. how present we get to be yeah. with other. It is truly amazing. I, and I wouldn't be able to talk about it unless I actually had a experience with it. That's for sure. It's so hard to put words to it, but that's, you know, yeah. pretty much what's going on. <laughs> yeah, man.